Hi guys, today I'm gonna show you guys um, a safe, I think it's 100% safe, I've never failed yet. A free to play team for dragons, a beast heart, of course. This is uh, the team, this is like back in the days, this is like the days where we use when we are still not using the Tricaru. Uh, the, basically, the Spectra is to use the slow, uh, the. Um, Wait, is it the third skill? Yeah, the third skill. The slow third skill, Spectra move first to slow the crystals and the dragons. And then we gain attack bar, we push back defense break, we do damage. This uh, Theramos. Theramos is actually very good for the Abyss uh, Giants and Dragons. So I think you guys who haven't built Ther Theramos, you should. All right, And Theramos do quite a decent amount of damage on this skill. I know this is crit rate because I put crit rate here, but you could do him, you could do him, you could ruin him speed, uh, speed, crit damage, attack, just get as high crit rates as you possibly can, hopefully above 85 at least. So because he can help you do a uh, decent damage to the boss. So yeah, this team is pretty shit, safe, safe. Okay, so yeah, basically it's just like, uh, what did I say? Spectra. Spectra's second skill also do a, a decent amount of damage to the boss. So Spectra move, slow the crystals and the boss. And then the rest, uh, uh, it's gonna give a lot of attack bar. Lauren for the defense break pushback and if needed, if the crystal gathers turn, he can strip the immunity, crow damage and defense break also. Uh, Veramos also the pushback and damage. Spectra of course the damage on the second skill. So that there, there's enough, I think. Uh, if you have enough, if you have the runes, it should be enough to kill uh, the dragons without the dragons get a move, I think. <laughs> I can't remember. For heart. Uh, normal, I'm not really sh I think it should be able to clear without the dragons get a turn. But again, the problem with Abyss is the abysmal <laughs> drop rate, right? The drop rate is horrendous, both the giants and the dragons. So if you don't have like a fast team, like a minute or below, it's really not worth it to farm Abyss hard, you'll be so much better just farming Abyss normal if you can get like uh, a fast team for those uh, for those two dungeon for now until come to a spell the drop rate then um, just go on and farm the hard stages see the, the dragons doesn't even have a chance to move so, so this is a 100% uh, free to play uh, safe team right you can get every one of these units by farming, I believe. Can you get Spectra? <laughs> I can't remember. It's not fast, okay? The fast I've been is only a minute 24. So I don't really suggest farming hard for now. Just farm normal. Wait, is Spectra available on the... I can't remember. Oh my god. What if you can't get Spectra from... Oh, you can get Bernard, but you can't get... You can't get Spectra? I can't... I Okay, so it's not really a free to play then if you can't get spectra, but it's easy. To, it's easy to get spectra nowadays, right? Wait, can you farm sp spectra? So you can get spectra from I think not from scenario, but you can get him from wait. Where is it? Where's the thing? You can get it from secret dungeon, I believe. Uh, yeah. See, you can farm Spectra from Secret Dungeon. So it's a free to play team uh, for the dragons. Uh, but again, the drop rate is, oh, I run out of, I will just farm normal for now. I mean, normal is also not very, not that fast. That's not a very fast team, but it's a safe team. Uh, currently, I just farm uh, the Abyss just for, hold on, just for this event. Because you got bonus points when you do this, so I've done with the giants. Now I'm trying to finish this 
so that I, I can claim this when this is become available. You can farm this, you can farm it. You can uh, clear this in advance so that when it unlocks, you can just claim the bonus points. All right? Good to know. So uh, you'll get, I believe you'll get the trans scroll on the, when this unlock, July 13th, you can get um, this one because you need 5,000 points. So you need July 13th because we were gated by how many points you can get a day. And also this one is gated by the, the time when it unlocks. So yeah, July 13th, everyone will get the trans scroll from this event. Uh, so let me show you the rune. The rune is also not that... Um, where are they? Are they installed? Okay, they are installed. The rune of all those five units is just um, average. In my opinion, it's just like average. It's not like super OP rune. So I think everyone will be able to achieve the stats. I mean, not early games, of course. If you have played this game em enough and you have farmed enough runes, you should be able to use the same team. Uh, what is it? Oh, Vert. <laughs> Vert is the uh, Tricaro Vert build, the Rage one. Where it? Okay, I'm blind. I'm actually blind, guys. My bad. So it's not a difficult uh, team, I guess. Oh, no, not this one. <laughs> this one. Just put uh, a lot of uh, attack, crit damage, crit rate. You need 100% crit rate to make sure the vert always crit to give the attack bar. Uh, this this vert sh um, could move last. It doesn't have to move first. It could move last for that. Okay. Just have some decent attack so that it contributes to the damage. And then, of course, what else do need to show? Lauren. I can't remember what I put Lauren on. Oh, it's on Swift. <laughs> I don't know why it's on Swift. Maybe I was speed tuning this Lauren to my um, Fran. I used Fran, Lauren, and Kaki on Siege. Uh, speed tuning, right? So this could be. I think this could be anything. Just make, just make this uh, Lauren move. I think he move. He can. He, she can move after Spectra. Of course, Spectra have to move first, and then Lauren moves to the, for the defense break. I mean. Lara move defense break and then Crow moves. Crow or um, Varus move next. I mean Varus move next. I think is better, and then the uh, Crow and then Vert last so that they, you can cycle to get more attack bar. And this is just just put whatever you want. I just put speed hit points here, attack. Uh, you need some accuracy of course. If you can't get. Uh, high enough accuracy just put accuracy slot 6 because the point here is you don't really need hit points uh, when the dragons uh, didn't have a chance to move so you don't really need high hit points for all these five uh, the point of this team is to kill the dragons before he has a chance to move anyway so just stack on the attack and damage I guess right and then who else? Uh, Spectra. Spectra is on. Just make Spectra fast because he has to move first. Uh, speed, crit damage, and accuracy because I need, uh, I need him to be able to land the uh, slow and push back right because of this one. And increase the attack power and attack speed. And this one is proportional to enemies max HP. So you need you need also you you can. You need crit damage, of course, and crit rate, so that this will land always crit rate, and it will do much more damage if you have higher crit damage. So just make sure he move first, have accuracy so that he land the debuffs, uh, crit rate just so that the second skill do decent damage. You don't have, you don't need hit points again because you are expecting, you are not expecting the enemy to move anyway. And crow, of course, damage build, rage blade. Um, crit rate, crit damage, of course, attack, crit damage, attack, right? And then Pheromos, oh, Pheromos is a 5-star, Pheromos, I don't think my Pheromos is built on damage, oh, crit rate just now, yeah, I saw it, I saw it to you guys earlier, uh, because I can't get him to 100% crit rate. <laughs> With this uh, violent, violent is uh, is okay for Veramos, right? Violent is best because uh, you need Veramos to cleanse the dots. But 
well, just in case the dragons moves, right? Speed, crit rate, hit points. I I really should take off the hit points. I was using Veramon somewhere else. Oh, in Giants, because in Giants you need some hit points. If not, the Giants will counter attack and kill you. So that's why there's a hit points there. But as you can see, these are all not very good runes. I can actually upgrade these runes. Yeah, those are not very good runes and it's not plus 15. So I should be upgrading this so that he can contribute um, more damage. Why is this one here? This is not even a good artifact for him. Oh, because of skill to accuracy, probably. Because the accuracy is a bit low. This one attack professional hit points. You can't get this anymore because they take away this this uh this subs property. I don't really need it. I need to change this so that he can contribute dam to contribute contribute to the damage more, right? This is not these are not a very good rune. So with a better rune, maybe we can trim down the time, the run time for a bit. So yeah, that's basically it. Safe free to play team for you guys. Um I don't really I think unless you have very good runes and you have the units, maybe you can try to go for the fast team, but because these dungeons will gonna be changed every six months anyway, right? So you come to us also mentioned in the developer's note that oh look at the drops. Yay, no intangible. I don't have I think I've I've seen a few intangible intangible runes drop, but it's only blue, so I don't keep them. I don't see any legendary, even purple ones yet. But I don't farm that much, right? I farm a hundred in giants and then around sixty on this one. I can't get a single uh, usable intangible rune yet, so until they buff the drop rate, I won't be focusing too much on farming the abyss, in my opinion, because I don't have a fast team for this dungeon. Yeah, so yeah, that's basically for this video. If you guys, this is just a, a very safe, 100% safe free to play team. So you guys can build this too. Okay, so yeah, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Bye.